Hey there guys, it's Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know I am. Well, I'm extremely cold. We've got uh, Storm Bert over here in the UK at the moment, wreaking havoc. And uh, it's a little bit nippy to say the least, but uh, hey ho, it is what it is. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a dominant arpeggio. In this case, we're going to be looking at an A dominant seventh arpeggio. And we're going to be playing it in one of two ways. We're going to be playing it in a vertical fashion, that is going from low to high in this direction in terms of pitch, and then a horizontal fashion going from low to high in that direction in terms of pitch. And we're going to group them together across one octave. Okay, so, and we're going to play each inversion. So we're going to play root position, first inversion, second inversion, third inversion. Okay, sounds a lot more... <coughs> um, uh, involved than it actually is is actually relatively simple. So uh, let me show you what the first position is for an A seventh arpeggio. So across two octaves. Okay, that's just our basic shape that you should know and love, of course. Uh, you should practice this kind of thing every single day. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to group these notes together across the octave. So we're going to just do one octave and we're going to start here in root position and play this. That's going to be our first shape. So we need to know what the intervals are and they are root, third, fifth, flat seven. So one, three, five, flat seven, then one at the octave, okay? So note names A, C sharp, E, G, A. Okay, and we also need to know how we're grouping these notes in terms of number of notes per string. And we're playing two, one, and two. That's how we're grouping them all. So let's start first position again. We're going to play it across one octave like this. That's our first shape. Then we're going to go to the third degree and we're going to play two notes on the A string. Then we're going to play one on the D string and then two on the G. Okay. That's our second shape, so that's first inversion. So we're going to move on to the next, which is the fifth, and again it's only over one octave. Okay, once more. And again those intervals, five, flat seven, one, three, five. Okay, and then finally we get flat seven. To flat seven an octave higher. Okay, then we can continue on and play root to root, which would be there. So I'll play those all together. We could continue on and do, since we're in the vicinity, two, three to three. There, okay, good. Memorize those, practice those every single day. You'll thank me later on, Pro I promise you. <coughs> so, uh, those are the inversions. Uh, now we're gonna play it, we played it vertically, we're gonna play it horizontally now. So we're gonna do the same thing, starting on the root, and we're gonna keep them exactly the same, playing them over one octave uh, in each inversion and playing, keeping them two, no two notes on one, one on the next, then two. So two, one, two. So we start like this. Same shape. Okay, then the same shape as before. Two, one, two. Okay, two, one, two. Two, one, two. Two, one, two. Okay, so that's moving in the vertical direction. So we've got to nail these so that we're completely au fait with these in every possible scenario, especially when it comes to improvising. You don't want to get stuck on the fretboard going, ooh, where am I? You've, you've got to know exactly where you are at any given moment and practicing these in, in both vertical and horizontal fashions should help you to achieve this or get you closer to achieving it, you know? So make it your daily practice. It, it becomes great fun if you've got OCD like me. It's perfect. <laughs> so, <coughs> anyway, what we're going to do now is we're going to take the horizontal form of it 
and uh, just shift it in terms of um, string sets. So instead of playing strings 5, 4 and 3, we're going to play 4, 3 and 2 this time. So that means we're going to start on the 5th degree of the arpeggio here and we're going to play... The shape looks slightly different because of the, the, the tuning of the 3rd between the B and the G strings, but it's no biggie, it's no problem. Afterwards I'll show you something that will help make it sound even nicer. So, first shape, fifth to fifth. Fifth, flat seven, root, third, fifth. And again, two, one, two. Okay, then we get, so flat seven to seven, that's third inversion. Okay, then root to root. Okay, then third to third. This one's a bit, little bit less off than you play. Okay, so make sure you work on that one. Okay, and then we're back to an octave higher. Okay, uh, what we can do actually here to alleviate that awkward, that, that awkward uh, crossing here with the rolling of the index finger is we can substitute the root for the ninth and play. Get a lovely sound there. Okay, so that you can do that if you so wish. Okay, so um, that's moving in the horizontal direction in this way. And of course we can do it with all sets of strings. <laughs> so if we're on the G string, we'll play this. Root position. Until we get an octave higher. So these are really, really great patterns that you can practice, um, and uh, you know, try and do it on a daily basis. Uh, you know, it'll really benefit your general musicianship and and fretboard knowledge immensely. And uh, I love the sound of them as well. You can start adding extra notes in as and when you feel like it. So you can, you know, use enclosures to. <laughs> make them sound a little bit more interesting. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> or anything. Uh, so that you're landing on a strong note on a strong beat. Uh, anyway, that's a different lesson for a different time altogether. So uh, try and practice these, see how you get on. Um, Please subscribe and like the video. If you want to make a comment, just leave one in the uh, uh, comment section below. Also, it's still 20% off uh, all downloads from my website, so make sure you check out my material over there and support your boy. It's a great way of doing that so I can continue to make videos like this one. So anyway, I've got a few more videos lined up for this week. Um, so uh, stay tuned and uh, keep on practicing, guys. I will see you in the next video. Cheers.